Scripture, the finest frontier. These are the voyages of Skylab Omega. It's five month mission to spread the gospel across the galaxy, to share God's love with civilization, to boldly go where one savior has gone before. Come with us now as we blast through the Bible with Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. Hello, Earthlings. It is I, Captain Iago, Captain of the Pharisees. Dr. Somnex has asked me here to meet his Skylab crew in order to fix his ship while they are here on planet Macedonia. After all, I am a master mechanic. I have come to replace some of the ship's parts. I do not trust these Earthlings. It would be best if they were gone from this planet and were able to move on with a repaired ship to be gone from this galaxy. So I will take a look at their engine. Uh-oh. Looks like we have a visitor. Uh. Here, in no part is here. Uh, I want to help you put it in. Uh, Yay! Where is the Commander Cosmos? Well, he is still on planet Bithynia. It is oh. better this way. That way I can actually work without this talk of the apostles and Bibles and hallelujahs and praise the Jesus. Hallelujah! Praise Jesus! Oh. <laughs> can I help? Do you know anything about engines? No, but thanks for asking. Well, no matter. You can hand me the tools while I work. Oh, I've got a better idea. I will hand you the tools while you work. Uh, and I will sing to you. How about just the tools? Okay. Jesus loves me, this I know. Screwdriver. For the Bible tells me so. Wrench. Little ones to him belong. Tape. They are weak. But he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. That's one problem fixed. <laughs> <laughs> you are a funky junky joker monkey. Don't <laughs> sing that song anymore. Okay. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do for Ma you. Maybe your God can help loosen this fitting. It is too tight for me. Okay, I will ask him. Uh, oh, great and powerful Jesus! Here's an idea. How about you pray to your God while I go get some grease for this fitting? Okay. Uh, oh, and whatever you do, don't touch anything. Okay. Okay, donkey, okay, carry on. Okay. <laughs> oh, poor Captain Yago. He is so uptight about everything. I know. I will help him by loosening his fitting. <laughs> Whatever a fitting is, I'm sure I'll find out. Oh, I think I see it. Here we go. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. Uh-oh, I think I am stuck. Help! Help! Help me, Jesus! Help! No Help. photo! Ah, did you get yourself stuck? Yes. <laughs> it is I, Captain Iago. Did you not hear me? Didn't I tell you not to touch anything? Ah, I thought it was you, Jesus. <laughs> yes, you did tell me not to touch anything. And did you listen to me? No. Well, at least you're honest. I guess you want me to help you now, don't you? Yes, that is what friends are for. Uh, okay. Ugh. For friends are friends forever. <laughs> when the Lord, the Lord wow, are there. Wow, you are really stuck in there. And a friend <laughs> will not say never. For the welcome will not end. Must you keep singing? I can't help it. Ugh. I just love to sing and praise God. Oh, well, I have such joy. Well, how can you have such joy? Your head is stuck in the engine. Because... My joy comes from Jesus. <laughs> oh, that is why I can sing anytime. Just like Paul and Silas. He even sang when they were in prison. Who are Paul and Silas? Your legs? Uh, if you get out the music Bible, 
I will show you. Okay. I shall get it. <laughs> Oy, Hallelujah! Sing. Hallelujah! The Bible says Paul and Silas were stripped and beaten, had their feet put in stocks, and they were thrown into a jail cell. Yes, and in the middle of the night they were praying and singing songs to God. <laughs> you Christians praise your God at the craziest times. <laughs> that is because God does miracles at the craziest time. In the middle of the night, God caused an earthquake and it made the doors fly wide open and all the chains fall off. <laughs> I don't believe your God is capable of such things. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Oh my goodness! I believe God caused an earthquake and set me loose! <laughs> uh, uh, that was no earthquake. How can there be an earthquake in space? Maybe it's a miracle from God! It was probably just the thruster engines. Did you start the thruster engines? No. Did I start the thruster engines? No, you were stuck. Well then, I wonder who rescued me. There must be an explanation. There is an explanation! Jesus loves me very much, just like he loved Paul and Silas and the jailer. Wait, what jailer? There was a jailer? Yes, there was a jailer who was in charge of the prison, and when it fell apart, he was very worried, so he was going to kill himself. Oh, of course, because he knew that if the prisoners escaped, he would be in big trouble. Yes, yes, but Paul said, do not harm yourself. We are all here. What did the jailer say? He fell to his knees and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? He wanted to be saved. That earthquake must have scared him a lot. Or maybe he was inspired by all the beautiful singing. Um, Jesus loves uh, me. This do time. not sing. But tell me what they said. Oh, we can find out by reading the bippity boops. Okay, the bippity boops. Uh, they replied. Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. They invited this man who had thrown them in jail to praise their Jesus. Yes, and to be saved. That is how it is when you love Jesus. You just want to tell everyone about him and praise him all the time, day and night. And that is why Paul and Silas could praise Jesus even in prison, because they knew something that these kids knew. Say it with us, kids. Jesus is the same yesterday, yesterday today, today, and forever. Forever. Come, I want to tell you more wonderful Bible stories.